I was asked in the comments the other day about my slide hammer when I was pulling out the core plugs out of the 300 TDI block and I thought to myself what a great idea why not do a section for YouTube just like a playlist of my favourite tools we could do one a month that would be fun wouldn't it but this is a good little piece of kit and I highly recommend it because it's one of them things you never use but when you do want it and it's on the shelf it's a perfect beast and they're not all that expensive I was actually given this in exchange of doing a job on a, on a Subaru rear axle to change out the wheel bearings so the guy bought me this I don't think it was all that expensive really but it's made by I don't get any sponsorship of these guys anyway but, but this is between you know those guys it's made by OTC uh, the Stinger series I'm going to keep up with that uh, 4579 but this is in uh, Canada so I'm not really sure um, if that's still the same number you can have a look at it on the website it's otctools.com but interestingly enough it, it's a really comprehensive kit now I'm just looking at the, the the pictures on here let's see if we can see that yeah you can see the pictures what you can do there's a three-legged gear puller that you can put on that's really handy sometimes so you can have it internal or external uh, it's got the flange in which I'll show you a puller hook we use that on the 300 TDI um, crankshaft bushing uh, it also comes with a separate puller but it's got just about everything so let's have a look and see what's in there because I, I actually adapted this kit as, as per usual to do other things because one of my biggest problems with working on Land Rover diesels is trying to get the injectors out so my um, machine shop came up with just this simple simple piece of hex bar threaded for the end of this shaft but also the other end threaded to go on top of the injectors so a couple of quick taps and out they come instead of twisting them because if you twist an injector and you twist it the wrong way you're going to shear the little pins inside and you can actually break the injector so that's not good all the injectors should pop straight up vertical so that's what you made for me couple of bucks nice adapter when I did the core plug this set comes with this little adapter and then you can drop a screw in like that screw it into your um, core plug you know and drill a hole first and then tap it out easy we well, could use it for tapping dents out as well we used this one to pull the uh, bushing out of the crankshaft bushing that was really handy so again another piece of usefulness this I have no idea what this does but I'm very it's useful well, I wonder where that goes anyway we should have a look at the lid and see isn't it? obviously I've never used it what's it say it says Oh, I'll tell you what it does. Ah, that's clever, isn't it? You know, you've got some vice grips or mole grips. Well, you can put that on your slide hammer. Like that, look. Can you see? Just like that. Brilliant. I bet it won't fit UK one. I bet it won't fit mole grips. But maybe that's, that's the difference in adaption. So we've seen that. We've seen that. This little thing here, this little adapter works in conjunction with these legs so you can use these legs inside or outside great uh, you can use it in conjunction with a a three-legged puller so the threads are all the same which is brilliant because it comes with a a, a threaded bolt so even if you just want to use it as a regular little uh, puller gear puller you can use it like that I'll tell you something I should get sponsored off these guys this is a this was a really handy thing to have this was for pulling the flanges off the uh, Subaru and I tell you something it got some stick because we couldn't get them off we <laughs> were banging them away trying to get those bearings out we got it off eventually but without this tool there was no way we could have done it so there's a shallow one here and this one's a bit deeper so if there's like a hub nut or, so, or something in your flange you can use this one and also the pattern's a little bit smaller as well but again just full of usefulness uh, if you want to make a two-legged puller 
there's a two leg one so you could use everything in conjunction with it I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to set up the slide hammer now and I'm going to use it uh, I'm going to set it up as a puller for a three legged puller because it's going to take a few minutes so I'll save you the embarrassment of watching me drop bits on the floor and then uh, I'll show you how it works so I've set this uh, puller up as a, uh, a gear puller or a pulley puller whatever you want to do but I've got this cone on here as you can see so what it does is it acts on these little ends of the legs so as you're tightening that up you can see what's happening to the legs they're getting tighter and tighter like that look so you can adjust it but not only can you adjust it you can get it really tight around that gear because a lot of pullers just they're no good at all they always sort of bend the legs and one drops off and you have a right carry on and then give it a couple of taps oh that's that's me joint so give it a couple of taps and off that gear will come so that's for the ex that's for the um like a puller that's um like a gear puller but what if a bushing's stuck on the inside i'll show you how that works as well so say you're faced with a problem you've got a bush or something that's hollow that you need to pull out well you can set then the um, the tool like this dear me I've got stuff everywhere and then you can alter this you've turned the cone the other way around so that will open them legs tighter so they're really gripping inside a tube and it's you know it's infinitely adjustable it's a great piece of kit I, I mean I wish I invented it myself you see, when I was saying about vice grips, we call these vice grips in North America, but you know, the mole grips. But I guess they invented them, so they have to call them that. But you take the bolt out here, there, you put that piece in there, and then you attach that to your end of your slide hammer, and then you can pull on a pair of vice grips. Now, if you've got a, um, a body panel that you need to pull, or you know, anything that's on the lip of a door seam, for example, you want to straighten it out, you, you could use that. Look at that, how simple that is. So I'm really impressed with this. It's something, it, it, I'll tell you something. It takes a lot to impress me with some tools, you know. But I like something that's versatile, it's small, I can carry it around with me, uh, around the shop in, in or outside. As a multitude of uses, I like that. Now, unlike other... Uh, tool reviews. I've seen a lot of tool reviews on uh, on YouTube but I tell you something not a lot of them actually use the tools well on the, in this case on this series we're going to be using them and well I do use them so you'll see them in my videos but it's nice if you could get a review a first hand review you know something like that for me it's, it, it's just like I say it's on the shelf, you think, oh, I'll never use that. But, you do. <laughs> and when you do use it, my God, it's good. So, you can get these all different brands and stuff like this. But, like I say, um, if you want to add it to your weaponry or your arsenal of tools, highly recommended. So, uh, this is going to really make your Land Rovers better. We can't make it any worse, can it? So, stick around and we'll see... Uh, if we can do another tool review, because I'm thinking I'm going to do the smoke machine again, but this time I'm going to take it to bits and let's see how it, can, how it works, because I think you can make them. That's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.